Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I want to talk about hex layers. Hex layers is something that Casio came up with, and I have in front of me today a Casio Privia PX560, their latest and greatest stage piano slash synth, which also incorporates hex layers. And the stage piano slash synth before this, the Privia PX5S, also has hex layers. And they even had hex layers in a previous synth back in 2012. I believe it was the XWP1 or something like that. So it's not a new concept, but it's still a fascinating concept. Hex layers, let's take it apart. The word hex means six. Layers means two or more sounds. So layers of up to six sounds. Now, there's a difference between layering six sounds together, which you can do on, say, like a chord chronos or whatever, which you can layer up to 16 sounds together with a combi. Hex layers are a little bit different because unlike, let's say I've got six separate instruments feeding into a mixer and you know, say a guitar, a bass guitar, and some four other instruments, each one into a separate channel or track in that mixer and mixing it all down to one line output, which all six are mixed together and you get a layer of six, okay? Now, a hex layer takes that concept way further. What a hex layer does is you can choose up to six different instruments or even raw waveforms, sine waves, triangle waves, square waves, sawtooth waves, you name it, and design your own sounds. Or you can take six instruments or whatever combination of whatever you, you prefer to work with. Okay, for each one of those six different sound sources, you have control of what part of the keyboard is going to be assigned to each one of those sounds. It can be the whole keyboard, it can be part of the keyboard. Uh, where is it going to be in the mix? To the left? To the right? Center? How about, how is it triggered? When I hit a note or when I release the note? Big difference. I can define all kinds of things. There's so many parameters to define, and this is for each one of the layers. That's what sets a hex layer apart from any other instrument that does layering. So it's really cool. Now, here's the thing about the PX560. You can have up to four different tones at once, all right? You got an upper and a lower, and the upper can have two different tones, and the lower can have two different tones. The upper and the lower are designated by a split point that you choose. Each one of those tones can be a hex layer. So, two tones in the upper, each being a hex layer, can have 12 different tones. Two tones in the lower each one being a hex layer can have two tones or two hex layers, total of 12. So now you've got 24 different layers, 12 in the lower, 12 in the upper, that you can play all at once. Even their flagship synthesizer, the PX5S, cannot do that. The PX5S is limited to the first two zones having hex layers. And the next two zones, single tones. So that is what sets this apart from the PX5S. And it's the most powerful to date in terms of hex layers. And what's really cool is for each individual tone in a hex layer, it's not like you're limited to the raw waveforms. You can choose the entire general MIDI sound set, which is in here, or other sounds that are here, like pipe organs or whatever. And the really cool, you, you can do sound design if you know what you're doing, 
And that is my intro to this. I'm going to get more specific as to what you can do with hex layers in the PX560 in another video. In the meantime, just know that you can do really cool stuff. Stuff like this. How cool is that? Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.